today is May 21st and we're at Toady Pass, so pretty high elevation. And we just saw about eight mule deer on this hillside and they were foraging and this hillside is just covered with forbs and grasses that are just about one inch tall. And so these animals are doing what we call surfing the green wave. They probably wintered down by Dubois and they've been migrating up and now they are close to Toady Pass here, surfing that green wave and foraging on these small plants that are high in nutrition but very low in fiber. And so they're high quality plants. So they're eating this little geranium, the geranium that's just okay. popping up. And geranium was the uh, number one plant in all of my deer diet analyses. In the summer? In the summer. So this is a good example of a geranium where they just snipped off the end right there. Among all these plants, they're really focusing on, on particular ones. So the animals that were just in here didn't even touch the sagebrush. The reason that these animals are moving up in elevation is they can match their movements with the development and growth of these plants in their early stages. They can prolong their amount of high quality forage that they can ingest during spring. And they just came off of winter where they had very low quality food for many months. And so this is the ticket for them to put on their fat. Most deer give birth within a two week period and it's usually around mid-June when, when most fawns are being born, but the overall partrition time is usually beginning of June to the beginning of July. And so the neat thing about that is they've matched the timing of their migration so that they've already been foraging on these high quality plants for a few weeks. And so they're already starting to recover from their winter deficit. And so they're ready with high quality food and maybe even a little bit of fat on their body after they fawn.